investigation that rocked an entire state division in fighting fraud target 12 went undercover exposing waste inside the department of labor and training four fraud investigators caught by our undercover unit running personal errands and spending a little r and r on taxpayer time that investigation aired last fall now new fallout from from fighting fraud target 12 investigator tim white is here with a preview of tonight's findings tim first let's uh, get everyone up to speed here what did your investigation Uncover. Well, these four fraud investigators, the state only has four unemployment, unemployment and uh, disability fraud investigators that are supposed to be out looking out for your tax dollars. We spent months following this entire team, and as you stated, we found them out on R&R &R and personal time. They were running personal errands, shopping. Another guy was even going home early so he could then work a second job at night and we also find that they had signed itineraries that they're supposed to give to their supervisors saying look I'm out on this right. job uh, working this investigation we got our hands on those itineraries and often we found that they weren't where they told their supervisors they were going to be. All right, so it didn't match up. Now, no. uh, how did their bosses react? Well, we brought our findings to the director of the Department of Labor and Training. As it turns out, she says uh, that they already had their own investigation up and going, that they too had received a tip about waste inside the mm -hmm. fraud unit, and so they had placed uh, these four workers on, uh, on paid, paid suspension. Hang on a second. With pay. All right. With That's going to get a lot of our viewers a little, uh, the blood pressure is going to go up when they hear that. Yeah, we, uh, we get that question a lot. Yeah. And the director, we asked her about it. And she said, look, there's legal precedent to this. If we had uh, put them on unpaid suspension, mm -hmm. that opens ourselves up to a lot of lawsuits. There's a state Supreme Court ruling that says hey, you can't dock a worker's pay until the investigation is complete. So they were on paid suspension. It took them six months uh, to complete their investigation and come to a finding. So uh, they just didn't want to open themselves up to a lawsuit. Okay, so where are these four folks that you caught on camera? What are they doing now? Well, that's what we get into tonight. Tonight we're going to talk about where these uh, four fraud investigators are. Are they working? Are they uh, back working for the state? Are they not? And almost more importantly, fundamentally, what's happened inside the Department of Labor and Training to try and, and ensure that this sort of thing uh, doesn't happen again? All right. As always, Tim, looking forward to your work. You're, you and your crew do an outstanding Thanks, job. Patrick. Don't miss the Target 12 Investigators exclusive fighting fraud tonight on Fox Providence at 10 and at 11 o'clock on our sister station, WPRI 12. Time now to get a checkup.